Good evening. Former Chief Secretary Rafael Hoy has been found guilty of accepting millions of dollars in bribes from property tycoon Thomas Kwok of Sanongkai, while his younger brother Raymond Kwok was cleared of all charges. Hoy and Thomas Kwok are spending their first night in custody while they await sentencing at the end of Hong Kong's biggest corruption trial. It was judgment day for Rafael Hoy as he arrived at the High Court to hear the verdict in Hong Kong's biggest corruption trial. The former chief secretary was found guilty of five out of the eight charges against him related to bribery and misconduct in public office. The property tycoon Thomas Kwok of Sun Hung Kai was found guilty of one count of conspiracy. His younger brother Raymond beat all the charges against him and was the only one to walk out of the court a free man today. The two middlemen involved in the payment of bribes to Hoi, Sanong Kai executive director Thomas Chan and former stock exchange official Francis Kwan were found guilty of the two charges against them. It took the nine-member jury nearly five days to reach the verdict, making it one of the lengthiest deliberations in Hong Kong's legal history. The case officially began with the ICAC arresting all five defendants in March 2012. Today, Thomas Kwok was found guilty of paying $8.5 million worth of bribes to Hoi during the months leading up to his appointment as chief secretary in 2005. Some of the money was paid on the same day he took his oath of office. Thomas Chan and Francis Kwan were convicted of helping funnel the money to Hoi. The jury was stuck until the last hour on one particular charge accusing the Kwok brothers of paying Hoi $11.1 million while he was a non-official member of the Executive Council between 2007 and 2009. Hoi was found guilty along with the middlemen, Chan and Kwan, but the Kwok brothers were cleared of that charge. During the trial, the former chief secretary had indicated the money came from a senior mainland official who wanted him to stay on as chief secretary to then chief executive Donald Tsang, who was his close friend. While the others were remanded in custody, Raymond Kwok faced the media outside the court to express relief that he had been found innocent and thank his family for their support. Along with Thomas Kwok, Rafael Hoy is spending his first night behind bars, pending a mitigation hearing schedule for Monday. The 131-day trial exposed his extravagant lifestyle that eventually left him bankrupt. The court heard details of a lavish lifestyle that included 14 bank accounts and daily withdrawals of $10,000 during his time as chief secretary. Hoi had forked out $33,000 during a single dinner at the Conrad Hotel in 2005, took expensive trips abroad for exclusive opera performances, and spent millions on a mistress in Shanghai. Once a formidable bureaucrat and master troubleshooter for the government, he became the most senior official in Hong Kong's history to be convicted of corruption. His scandal also exposed the extent of the cozy relationship between government and big business. The ICAC said today the case had demonstrated its ability and determination to go after corruption, regardless of the status and position of those involved. Let's take a closer look at all the charges against Rafael Hoy and the Kwok brothers and how the verdicts on each count turned out for them. On the first charge, Hoy was found guilty of misconduct in public office. He was accused of failing to declare an unsecured loan of $2.4 million, rent-free use of two luxury apartments owned by Sun Hong Kai, and his deal to work as a consultant for the property giant while he was managing director of the MPF Authority. Under the second count of conspiracy to commit misconduct in public office, the prosecution had accused Hoi of accepting $5 million from Thomas Kwok before he became chief secretary in June 2005, without reasonable excuse to favor Sun Hong Kai. Hoi and Thomas Kwok were found not guilty. The third charge, also of conspiracy to commit misconduct in public office, stemmed from allegations that Hoi accepted $4.1 million from Raymond Kwok before he took up the number two job in government. Both were found not guilty. The two were also cleared of the fourth charge of furnishing false information for claiming the money was a bonus, not a bribe. 
The fifth charge, again of conspiracy to commit misconduct in public office, accused the Kwok brothers of paying $8.5 million in bribes to Hoi ahead of his appointment as chief secretary in exchange for him to be the eyes and ears of Sun Hong Kai. The prosecution said the money was paid through Thomas Chan and Francis Kwan. Only Raymond Kwok was found not guilty. Hoi was again convicted of the sixth charge of misconduct in public office in hiding from the government an unsecured loan of $3 million from a subsidiary of Sun Hong Kai when he was chief secretary. Under the seventh charge of conspiracy to offer an advantage to a public servant, the Kwok brothers were accused of paying Hoi $11.1 million when he was an executive counselor, again through Thomas Chan and Francis Kwan. Everyone was found guilty except the Kwok brothers. Hoi was also found guilty of the final charge of misconduct in public office for concealing the $11.1 million payment. Sun Hong Kai, Hong Kong's biggest property developer, has announced a management reshuffle after suspending trading earlier today. Thomas Kwok has stepped down as chairman, while his son Adam has been appointed as an executive director. Thomas Chan has also resigned as executive director. The company said its operations have not been affected and it will apply to resume trading on Monday.